Hi everyone, it's Darlene. I just want to show you some of the paper beads that I made for the old timer shop here in Sanford. If any of you live in or around Sanford and you want some cute little stocking stuffers for the kiddos over Christmas, they're only 40 cents a bag for the beads. Now I make these because I'm obsessed with making them, not because I want to get rich selling them. That's why they're so low priced. I just want them to move. So the old timer shop will call me again and say, we need more beads. And it just gives me a reason to sit and make paper beads, which is, I find it very relaxing and therapeutic. So these are the beads that I just brought there now. There were still some from the last batch. And these beads are made either with magazines or paper that I have colored with permanent markers. And it will say on the tags, You'll see this one is man for man. This one is made from hand colored paper and it's just printer paper that I color with markers cut into strips and then others are made with magazine pages um, like this right here. And um, I have some better pictures here. So you can see up close the colors. Now these are made with just paper and glue. They dry very hard, but they're not sealed with any kind of shellac. So you wouldn't want to wear, you know, make a bracelet and wear it in the water, but they, they last quite a long time, you know, and they do, they, they dry pretty much rock hard and they're just fun for the kids. It gives them some colorful, inexpensive beads to play with. And I tried to get one really up close so you can see. And then I dug up and found a video that I had made on how to make these beads, if you'd rather just make them. Now, I'm going to tell you, this video is when I very first started doing videos, and I didn't have a camera yet, so I actually have my laptop hanging upside down over my hands, and so the sound is really, really terrible because I wasn't speaking into the microphone, but that's how I started doing YouTube. Before I spent a dime on a camera, <laughs> I rigged up a way to hang my laptop upside down over my hands. So I will link to you uh, link you to this video below the, the video that you're watching right now. And I also wanted to show you that if you're not familiar with Sanford or don't go by there too often, this is the town hall and this is the annex. And right here in the corner is the old timer shop. And I have a close up of it here for you. Now, a little bit about this shop. You will find all kinds of things. So even if you want to just go in and pick up a couple bags of beads, please look around. Because what it is, is everybody, um, all the things in this store are handmade by people who live in York County. And you have to be 50, 50 years old or older. So everything's handmade, handcrafted. Everyone prices their own stuff. So some people price things very, very low because again, they're just in this to make something, have a place to put it, have a place to sell it so they can just keep making more. You will find tons of things for babies and some beautiful doll clothes if you have like an American Girl dolls, but there's just, there's all kinds of things. There's bag, I actually, I think still have two tote bags in there. So, you know, stop by, take a look, and um, if you don't spot the beads, they're in, actually in a basket on one of the tables, but you can ask them where the paper beads are. I think I'm the only one that has beads in there, so you'll be able to find them. And I just uh, wanted to let you know that I have a new batch in the store. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.